Happy Monday! It's Tori with Share the Soap. Um, today for Maker Monday, one of the things that I'm doing in the workshop is I'm making the um, the winning mini loaf mold that we had. Remember we had a contest recently for Design Your Own Loaf of Soap? So the winner will get their own little mini loaf like this. And um, she chose a combination of sandalwood and lavender scent and it smells so nice. I wish you could smell it through the screen. Now we did use a lavender, it's an organic, or sorry, let me cross that off. <laughs> we have an organic natural sandalwood fragrance though. It is a fragrance. It's not essential oil because of the cost of, I don't even have any sandalwood essential oil on hand because it is so crazy expensive. So um, then for the lavender, uh, we are going to use Bulgarian. What I did is I had this little sample set from Essential Depot. These are really nice. The Simple Jeep. Essential Depot does their own GCMS testing, so you know the quality of the oils is really great, and they have this little sample pack, and the fun thing about that is you can try three different lavenders at once, and there's actually a considerable difference in the scent uh, between the lavenders. So I tested the sandalwood with the regular lavender, with the Bulgarian lavender, and with the French lavender, and the Bulgarian one, hands down. So that's what we're gonna be adding in to scent the soap. For the color, she wanted something light, and so we're gonna be using a French clay. Some people call it a uh, fawn clay, but this is a natural clay. It, that, there isn't any colorant in it. This is actually the way the clay is um, comes. So it makes a nice color in the soap, and the clay gives the soap a really nice feel to your skin, too. So, okay, I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna arrange this so that, oops, so that you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so in soap making, remember you have to weigh everything out and you also need your protective gear. So let me grab my gloves. There. And get my scale ready and I need to get my recipe because I have to put in exactly the right amounts. So let me do that real quick. Okay, here we go. So first of all, I'm gonna tear my scale to zero and I'm gonna put it on grams. I had to wait, I couldn't remember what mode my recipe was in. There, okay, and then again, this is lye. I'm gonna take it up. Central Depot also, they have the best lye. We're um, lifetime members with them just because I won't buy lye anywhere else. It is um, a really good high food grade quality, so there's no other impurities or anything in it. I know, it seems like it's in a Central Depot coupon <laughs> commercial. It's not, but we do use a lot of their products, so we've done that for years. I think since like 2016 is my first order that I had from them. Okay, a little bit more, 43, okay. Cool, there we go. All right, now, move this out of the way. The next thing is the water, and you wanna make sure and, and use um, distilled water, otherwise it could color your soap. Um, sometimes instead of water, we use goat milk. We're gonna use goat milk powder, which is a little more intensified today. Okay. All right, a little bit more. And then we're gonna give it a stir. I'm gonna move my scale off of here now because I'm done with it. And I'll show you why. Normally we'd have to weigh all the oils and stuff in there too. But we are gonna use. Okay. So we're gonna give it just a minute to. Can you see the cloudiness? We're gonna give it just a minute to turn clear. Get all that mix in really well. While it's doing that, what I'm gonna do is, this is um, the blended oils that come in our soap kit. So the, this is almost the same recipe that we use for most of our soaps here in house. We love this combination of oils and so that's what we use for as a base for a lot of them. And when you buy a soap kit from us, you can make yours at home too, just like this. Everything is pre-measured. Like I measured out the water and the, the lye, that would come pre-measured for you with our soap kits. So that all you have to do is create and you get step-by-step -step color instruction with pictures okay so there we go get rid of that and now we're gonna just mix it a little bit now i'm gonna add my goat milk powder next and also the clay And then I'm gonna get our scent ready. I'm not gonna put it in quite yet, but I just wanna have my containers open because this um, can set up really quickly with the clays in it. So I don't wanna get in a bad bad position here. And let me get a scraper. Okay, so now let's mix all this together. Good. 
I am going to get a pipette though for the essential oils. Okay, so let's do it. Start with our sandalwood. And I have, I'm going to use these little markers on the side of my container. Four. Okay. Now I'll put that off the side in case I need to change it. Now we're going to use our Bulgarian lavender. Okay. So let's see how it's looking now. I'm smelling. It's going to mix this in for a minute. I hope she loves this color. I love this color. Turn this. Oh yeah, that's good. I think I'm gonna add just a tiny bit. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make this sandalwood pop a little bit. There we go. I'm at the very bottom of my bottle. Okay. So let's add just a little bit more lavender, just to give it a good pop, and that's done. Can you see it's starting to set up just a little bit? It's starting to thicken. I'm gonna was it one more time, but it doesn't need much at all. Okay, yeah, let's mix well. See how it's like almost like pudding, or a real thick gravy maybe. Now we're gonna pour it into here. I was gonna try and angle this so you could see it better, but I don't. Setting up kind of fast. So we're just gonna go with it here and then I'll show you right after we're done. Okay, now we're gonna get all the air bubbles out. All right, and then we're gonna let it set up just a little bit longer. We're gonna take a spoon or a spatula and make a design on the top, put a few lavender. Oh, maybe we'll use a lavender. Oh, here, let's do this. Look, I have these lavender stems. You can take one that way. Take one there. Now, I'm just gonna put in some little, and bring it to the middle. Give it some definition. There we go. There. Even out a little bit. There. Now, let's take let's take it like this. There. Now you can tell it's scented with sandalwood and lavender. See? So now it has to rest. So we will take our lid, recover it here from my soap thing. We're going to snap the lid on. And now we wait till tonight. Okay, we'll probably wait a couple days actually, just because I have a lot going on. So I won't be back. Um, to this project till later but okay so there we have it that's the lavender and sandalwood mini loaf for the contest that we had and if you didn't win this time maybe we'll do it again if you leave a comment below let me know if you would like to do that or have a chance to win that if you'd like to make your own soap we do have soap kits you can um, get a hold of me for that or put a note in the comments and I can touch base with you there and I guess that's it. This is our Maker Monday. And so we will see you again next Monday for another Maker Monday. This is Tori with Share the Soap. Have a sunshiny day.